Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to create tabs using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And also I will show an example of usage uh, data attributes, which is available in HTML5. So let's start from creating index HTML. Uh, I just change title data tabs. For this purposes, we're gonna use uh, Ali. Also, we're gonna add span here, and uh, our data attribute, which is available in HTML5, we're gonna call tab head, and we need three of them, and also we're gonna have a uh, each block which is uh, going to represent a content per each tab. So at this is going to be data, uh, tab, target. Here we're going to have h1 title and ptech. Uh, let's add here some namings, technologies. Technologies, for example, learn and feedback. Also, techno, we need uh, uh, each tab to be unique, but we're not going to use IDs for this. Going to use data attributes. What is the purpose of them? That data attributes not kind of represent the information that you need on the page, but you do not want to use uh, classes, for example, or uh, IDs. And here, let's grab just some, and I want to run this live server open. Okay, it's here. Let's go to uh, uh, CSS data, for example. Let's grab some content from here. It's going to be our content. Just to have an, an example and to speed up things a bit. So we also need three of these. H1 and Ptex. So it's going to be our content for this lesson. Here we're gonna have feedback title and just put some random text. Okay, so here we need also these tabs to be aligned to understand which of them we're gonna show. <coughs> Also, we're going to add class active here to be able to see uh, the content itself because these three sh two should be hidden and this one visible. Let's take a look what we have. Okay, it looks like this for now, but we're going to add here a few more files, styles, oh. CSS, and also uh, script.js. Uh, let's include them in our code. Uh, styles, and here at the bottom, going to include script.
okay, we're ready to go. So just need to add a few styles. So active, we need to be able to see active state uh, plus active color red, for example, and uh, div with div active should be display block and all other divs should be display none. Okay. So we're ready to go with our JavaScript. The first thing that we need to do here is to get all elements with this data attribute. So for this we're gonna use const up head uh, document query selector all because we need uh, to retrieve to retrieve to get several items to be able to get by head we need uh, to use uh, square brackets and also let's grab our target attributes Uh, target should be in place. Then we need to go for each tab head for each, and this is gonna be head. And here we're gonna add event listener on click and in callback function we're gonna receive. Missing one bracket, assume. No. Here we get we have event. And what we need to do next. Just run. And missing brackets. Yeah, like this. And per each event, what we need to do? So first of all, we need to do the next for each. Once we're clicking on the item, we need to remove all active classes. So here, element class list, remove active. The same thing we're gonna do for tap target. Then we receive here event and our target of this event is going to be one of these items so we need to add active class for this we do event target class list add active so right now we should be able to see how our classes jumps over and over where is it yeah see and also we remove active class once we click here and right now to be able to assign a active class to appropriate a content element we need to read this information and find the target with the same content for this we're gonna do the following document query selector because we need to find out an element and for this element we're gonna need to add class active the same thing as for head how to find the target we can uh, from event target grab our uh, uh, head name let me show you so for this event target and we have such thing as data set available uh, for elements and if we have any data attribute you will be able to see here tap head feedback it's pretty useful so in our case we need to 
uh, grab this property, take this name and find find out our element. So we we'll remove this, remove comments here, and here we're gonna do data data where is it yeah data tab target equal and i want to change uh, brackets here and just put this and tab head and right now we should be able to see another elements so tabs in 10 minutes available for you let's also add some small styles just to this look a bit better but we still need to have this too and we're gonna remove this let's change font family to monospace i would add display block display none yes well uh, for ul we need to remove padding left that it's by default available also i'm going to show this as display grid to have them in one row let me remove list style type none to show them in one row, I'm gonna use a uh, display or oh, well, grid template columns, also available repeat function. And if they, if we want to have them uh, after fit, and let's just put min max function here, and minimal amount gonna be 240 pixels, for example, and one. FR. So let's take a look. Ah, I forget to change the styles for our span. Well, the span. Uh, what should we have here? Display block, for example, cursor pointer. Uh, they should be for the whole size right now. Still no. Ah, <laughs> sorry, my mistake, my mistake. They all in the same Lee. Okay, a bit better. Let's add a few more things. Font size, for example, 20, padding 10, and text illusion center, for example. And if this is active, let's change the color for this to, I don't know, some funny like this. pretty uh, useful information for you to know how to do it and one good example of data attributes to use so please take a look and subscribe do not forget to leave a comment just with any what you want to share i would be happy to see you with the next video have a great day bye bye